Welcome to Alien Theorist Theorizing Case File 265. When aliens attack, the Knowles family encounter. I'm Brayden. I'm Zell. I'm Dan. And I'm Andrew. Woo! Back you at heard it. that right. When aliens attack. Yeah. <laughs> So this, this was like, it's, yeah, it's like normally when animals attack, not anymore. <laughs> I tell you, I I don't know what the Knowles family was like before the attack, but they seem like shells of humans after. <laughs> Defeated. Like, Defeated just, humans. Like, like, you want to drive anymore? No. No, you go I back? do not. No. <laughs> well, buddy, listen, like, you got there's there's hesitancy getting behind the wheel after a fucking car accident. Imagine after this yeah. shit. I'd be like, nah, fuck that shit. I'll walk, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. Uh, uh, yeah, so th- this this case is really great. Number one, it's an Aussie case, which are always super fun. Um, Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. <laughs> uh, th- well, it was good. It was nice to know because when they were talking about speed limits and speed and distance, I was like, oh, I, I understand all this. <laughs> I yeah, know these. No I shit. get these. Oh, these kilometers. <laughs> Civilized. These references. <laughs> uh, these units of measurements make sense to me. They're not all arbitrary or named after parts of the body. <laughs> as soon as we, uh, as soon as we just picked this one and I started going through it, I'm like, oh, this would be, there's so many, so much good material for like skits and shit. And I'm like, literally the only, like, we're terrible at all accents, but I can't, like, I can't even make Australian sounds come out of my mouth. Oh, I can't, like, I can't at all. I I listen and I'll try and I, there's no way. I can say, I can say razor blades. That's it. (laughs) Say it. Say it. Razor blades. Yeah, that's pretty good. Actually. That's way better than anything I can do. That's it. But that's all I got. Good eye, rise of blights. That's pretty good. Uh, I'm impressed. So this case file takes us back to January 20th of 1988, and the Knowles family uh, was great fucking year. <laughs> was the uh, was traveling on a family trip cross country from the city of Perth, from where they were from, to the to over to Melbourne, um, which they would have passed through a number of. It's pronounced Melbourne. Melbourne. Actually. Melbourne, sorry, Melbourne. Don't make fun yeah, of you. Okay. If you don't, if you say so, more. how do you Melbourne. how do you perma- how do you pronounce Kuma Bigadup? <laughs> Kuma Bigadup. Yep. Or you had that one right, I think. All right. Uh, yeah. What about? Uh, oh, this one's easy to pronounce. Uh, they probably would have. They may have passed through the. You know town what's great about salmon gums? Day. Salmon. You know what's gums. great about yeah. uh, the the Melbourne is all the Aussies are going to react just like we did when Dan said Newfoundland. Yeah, <laughs> right. They're all gonna be like, "Come on, come on!" <laughs> That's um, hilarious. What, what was it? What salmon? What uh, salmon? Salmon gums. S a l gums. Spelled like hey, salmon we, gums. Like sa- funny enough, we were yeah, but we we live close to a salmon arm. Oh, okay, this is true. Right? And so I think gums. It, yeah, salmon gums. Salmon don't have right? gums. I think it's salmon part of the when, when you're a when you're a British colony, you have to have some sort of. Salmon like body a, part, like a fish yeah. with a, a body part it wouldn't normally have. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm sure there's a salmon tail somewhere. Hundred uh, percent. Right. What about cockle bitty? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I like uh-huh. cockle cockle bitty. Yeah, that that <laughs> describes me in a nutshell. Uh, so uh, the Knowles family probably would have caught it would have been just a little bit past cockle bitty uh, as they were nearing the city of Mundrabilla. Uh, these are great names. I just like great. I just call Byron and ask for yeah. com- clarification. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the family was driving in their 1984 blue Ford Telstar sedan uh, with the luggage, according to some reports, that were that was on a roof rack, supposedly. Yeah. Um, now, so National Lampoon style. <laughs> yeah, 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 a little yeah, bit. Yeah. Yeah. Stacked yeah. to the tits. Uh, so Faye Knowles and her three sons, Patrick, who was 24, Sean, who was 21, and Wayne, who was 18. Uh, Sean was driving at the time, and his older brother was in the seat beside him. So they were on a road near Mundrabilla. Somebody's going to – I hope somebody corrects me for all of these things. Um, Mundrabilla. Mundrabilla. <laughs> uh, which is a small village about 750 miles east of Perth. So it's about halfway on the trip, like this, the road that they were taking, I, I assume, because uh, there's only really like one road that runs all the way there. <laughs> uh, and this was on the uh, the what is known as the Iyer, uh Highway. 
and which is in the the vast desert of southern australia and i think people often forget how much of australia is unpopulated and it's just uninhabitable desert yeah like all the isn't it like all the middle basically yeah <laughs> pretty much 99 percent of australia is just uninhabitable like all of the population lives on the coast <laughs> what's that clicking oh just started somebody's phone could have been a phone it's gone it's gone it's awful anyways but yeah and perth is like the i'm pretty sure it's the most isolated like big city in the entire world it's like thou it's like two thousand plus kilometers from the nearest next city <laughs> this is the fucking way out there the next city is like adelaide which is like two thousand k away yeah and it was like they'd already been on the road for about 13 hours straight because i guess the family had just gonna had decided Ooh. to do shift driving all the way there oh so uh, oh okay well I, you know what for some reason i didn't read the shift driving so i thought uh sean had just crush the third and i was like dude i've i've done that what do you mean I've just fucking for... pop a couple amphetamines and drive for 300 just drive forever no dude <laughs> with I, all your family in the that. car <laughs> i've done that i've done a 14 john to Kelowna, which is like 12 and i've done that in one shot and it is <laughs> dude that's it a is grind big well because i was thinking i was like you know if there's a chance that sean halluc like when i was like okay well was there any hallucinations? I was like, well, yeah, maybe if you drive, you've been popping weight. Well, yeah, but he fucking, it's either he's making piss jugs or he's got urinary retention. That's kind of Yeah, right? He's just hallucinated, but then this crazy. makes way more sense um, that they were doing shift work on the drive. Uh, Genius. So, but even though they had been driving in shifts, uh, it, it depends on which report you read. Now, some of the family may have been asleep, but also they all may have been awake at the time, which makes... You know what? That's a little bit different. That's good. That's good. It's good road trip etiquette, though, right? It's like you never like. I get it. If you're in the back seat, you get a pass. But if you're in the if you're in the front seat with a driver, oh, you're you gotta co-pilot. stay awake. Yeah, right? you're co-pilot. You're co-pilot, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Like it's you have just as important of a job, right? You got to hand them the snacks. You got to open them napkins, right? Oh, yeah, radio up down. Well, you're on the radio. Listen, this is a this is an Aussie road trip. You know. They're banging some Jimmy Barnes, working class man. Nobody's <laughs> sleeping. Everybody's pounding the roof and having a great time. You know what? D realistically, I guarantee you, I bet there's no radio reception through most of the drive, so they're crushing. So they're tapes, singing right? it. Hey, flip the tape. So they're singing it. <laughs> yeah. No, no it's tapes, only sure. singing, boys. Karaoke. No, I, I bet you it's the Hilltop Hoods is what they're listening to. Hilltop were they Hoods. Around, were they around in 88? You ever heard, uh, was it Nosebleed Section? The only, that's the only song I remember. It's like a Aussie Beastie Boys group. <laughs> oh, really? No. They're good. Oh, man. I don't know. Beastie I don't know Boys. if they can. Hey, listen. Jimmy Barnes is something else. If you've never heard of Jimmy Barnes, you need to look him up. Uh, so they may or may not have been listening to Jimmy Bar Barnes in the uh, early wee <laughs> morning hours between sometime between 2.45 a.m. and 5.30 a.m. is when these events are uh, when these events occurred. Now, Sean and Patrick being in the front seat uh, reported noticing some type of bright light that appeared in the sky ahead of them and sean asked patrick apparently like that it, it had been on their minds this is 1988 the ufo phenomenon is has begun and people know about this that you know jokingly asked him perhaps you know hey could that maybe be a spaceship you know you run a little low on sleep you might want to kind of come up with these kinds of ideas and um and so they decided that this light, which seemed to be in front of them and not far, they decided to try and chase and catch up to the object. Um, I, first I thing I would think a, of doing. <laughs> yeah. That, secondly, is like, to be honest, I'm like, that, that point in the story, I was like, when I read that and like listened to that, I'm like, isn't that what anyone does? Because if I've ever seen, if I've ever been with anyone at night and I see a weird any kind of weird light i go is that a spaceship <laughs> literally every time ufo and it'll be a plane i'll be like ah oh. but my first thing is always like spaceship ufo it's right there uh yeah i suppose they saw uh, they, they saw man. the light and they probably judged What's that, that anyways <laughs> let's not go over there yeah. let's stay away from, let's actually go in the opposite direction of that yeah. i'm not sure what it is hey guys thanks for watching i know it's annoying to watch these broken up in 10 minute segments but here's the next one over here. Or if you want to watch the whole thing uncut 
and after hours, just click this link to our website and uh, give us a donation. You get full access to it on Patreon. Anyways, thanks guys. Enjoy the next video.